Welcome back, everybody, and thanks for joining us here today at smallcapvoice.com. And as we are joined once again by Cliff Emmons, he's the CEO of IIOT Oxus, traded on the OTC under the ticker symbol ITOX. We've spoken with Cliff and other members of his team and network several times. Uh, we're following up a great piece of news, Dateline September 7th, 2022, headline, IIoT Oxus completes proof of concept on Eritas Sensor Network Incorporated's indoor air quality sensors and system. We're going to talk a lot about that today with Cliff. Cliff, thanks for making time for us. Thanks. It's great to be here, Stuart. Great to have you. So we've spoken about Eritas several times. I mean, obviously, this relationship really clicked right from the start and you're progressing, as this press release points out, really rapidly here. Um, let's, for the new investors who are coming on board and may not understand everything about this relationship, if you would, let's uh, remind us how the company's first connected first and then uh, why you decided to keep developing and, and really growing this partnership with them. Sure, sure. So the company's connected through our mutual networks. One of our stakeholders knew of Dan and his company and thought we might benefit you know, from connecting. Mm -hmm. We first spoke in the spring of 2021, but it wasn't until early 2022 that we both decided that it was time to collaborate. The main driver to collaborate with Eritas for me was definitely Dan Pothier, Eritas CEO, and, and essentially also their CTO. Dan's technical capabilities and vision are very impressive. His background in sensors, electronic hardware, and computer software is extremely deep. He also has a good foundation in algorithms. The second driver for collaboration between us is the strong complementary nature of the two companies. They are strong in sensors and hardware. There's good overlap in the area of software platforms. And most importantly, we add strength and depth in the area of artificial intelligence and machine learning, also known as AI and ML algorithms. So from many angles, it made sense to de develop this partnership. Well, once again, for some of the newer viewers and listeners and followers of your company, can you give us a recap on all the progress to date with Eritas? Absolutely. So you mentioned earlier how fast this collaboration progressed, and, and we agree, and we're excited it has so. So first, uh, we signed the two-way non-disclosure uh, NDA agreement with them in March which allowed us to have deep and open discussions on exactly how we could work together. Second, we realized uh, our access, Oxus's access to capital, could help speed an inventory procurement on an important large contract they had secured, which led to the convertible note we now hold for them. Third, in June, we agreed to subcontract uh, our AI and uh, ML algorithm development services to them for an odor detection algorithm. And that work is ongoing and proceeding well. Fourth is the completion of this proof of concept, which I'm, I'm happy to delve into today. Well, yeah, with that proof of concept, and again, the press release uh, was out September 7th, everybody. All you need is that ticker symbol, I-T-O-X. You know, the press release itself really gives us a good background and depth on the actual proof of concept. But can you give us more color today on the proof of concept and really what it means again for this partnership with Eritas? Absolutely. So this POC was a true collaboration. First, Eritas provided access to their sensors and their software platform. That included almost a, a dozen sensors. Second, our landlord, Giro Dibiaz, allowed us to distribute those sensors throughout his videography studio and the co-working space on the second level of his building in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The second phase was running several tests with the sensors and systems. We tested two types of their sensors, both their carbon dioxide as well as their sentinel sensors. The Sentinel sensors include capabilities to detect 
uh, the amount of various particle sizes in the air. So the final phase was running a demonstration of the sensors and systems for our board of directors and advisory board. And after that demo, the board of directors and advisory board both encouraged us to keep developing this partnership. And actually, the POC will continue to run as a demonstration system to our prospective customers and serve as a test site uh, as we continue this subcontracting algorithm development for Eritas. All in all, this is a big win for both companies. Well, that's great to hear. And I know music to the ears of your shareholders as well. So in wrapping up this interview, where do we go from here? Sure. So this, first of all, this POC was a big step forward in our partnership with Eritas. It allowed us to evaluate and become familiar with their technology, both the sensors and their IIoT software platform. This is going to make Oxys a stronger partner for Eritas as we explore co-marketing and co-selling agreements with them. Negotiations on these agreements are underway and we expect to finalize them by the close of this quarter. So stay tuned. Well, excellent. And to our viewers and our followers at smallcapvoice.com uh, and of course, IIoT Oxus followers on social media, you see the company has been reaching out, also conducting a recent shareholder call where we fielded all of your questions. Um, I love the increased level of transparency on your behalf, Cliff, and Karen's behalf. So listen, there's no excuse not to send in your questions and get them answered in a public forum, in a compliant format. That's what we're here to do. You can contact us through smallcapvoice.com. You can contact the company through their website. Uh, so please do that. And Cliff, thanks again for your time here today. Thank you, Stuart. Pleasure to be here. All right, for Cliff Emmons, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for watching us today and stay tuned.